Welcome back YouTubers. We're here today at Donovan Dodge, like I've been for most of the Saturday. And today we're gonna take out the Dart. 2015 Dodge Dart GT. Let's go. And we're back. Now you're here with me in the 2015 or 16, what is this? 2015, I'm sorry. Dodge Dart GT. Let's go for a ride and see how this thing handles. Got a little bit of gas in here. Let's cut some AC on. Give me one second, getting used to the controls. Oh, turn that off. too much air. All right, let's get buckled in. Yeah, you guys seem like it's gonna be a little close to me, so let me go ahead and give me one second, be right back, let me adjust the camera. And we're view. back. So, let's go ahead and head off in this Dodge Dart GT. Now, I know what some of you guys are thinking. It's a Dodge Dart. The Dodge Dart back in the day was a muscle car, but now it isn't. Times have changed, uh, emissions have gotten stricter. So, when things get stricter, I can't even speak today. When, when the emissions became more strict, you gotta have cars that are, you know, marketable to the masses, which is the Dodge Dart. I know, um, to me, this is nothing but a, uh, a upgraded neon, to me. But it does look a lot better, given that. It does look a lot better. So this is the GT. I did that, I don't think they had a stick. So we're driving the uh, automatic. And I'll give you all a rundown of the specs um, once I step out the car and I do a full walk around the vehicle. Uh, this is my first time actually driving the Dart. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty fast car. Ooh, gotta get out the way here. I'm sorry, they made it say pretty fast because dark, you think of a dark, you don't think fast unless they make a Hellcat dark, which I don't see that happen in the future, or they might. But um, the car's pretty smooth. It shifts great. The brakes are good. Um, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm six foot, about 220. And I actually have enough space in here. It's not like a lot of cars. A uh, car that I had prior to my Camaro, um, I had a... 2013 Hyundai Veloster. That was spacious enough. Had three doors, but this one, my, uh, you know, I don't feel claustrophobic in here. This is a pretty good car. And what does this thing get? Almost 30 miles to the gallon. This, uh, when I turn this corner, we're gonna put. I'm gonna put my foot in a little bit just to see. What this, uh, I think it's a 2.4 cylinder, 2.4 liter four cylinder. Sorry, I can't speak today. Today is really hectic. So I'm gonna put my foot in this. See what's going on. As soon as I get past this light here, Let's see if anybody's coming. for these cars to get out the way so I can see you know we have a little bit of gas in it like the Challenger before I test drove so on the E so I really couldn't do anything that I was supposed to do so let me let me see what it can do here let me see it, it's consistent um like when I drove a similar car in, that, in this class the uh, Veloster the Veloster it really wasn't that much torque but when you hit it, it did kind of jerk. This one is just one, this is a smooth transmission. This is one, you put the foot down and it's just one motion, no jerking, no nothing. Let's try it again, let's, let's listen. Okay, it did 
through that time a little bit. Live through that time a little bit. For the size of the engine in this car, it does get up. Um, it's, it's pretty quick. It's not blistering fast, of course, because it's a Dodge Dart. But this being the GT, I'm not sure if this one has a little bit different type of um, people staring at me here. I'm trying to record. But yes, so I can't even think what I was about to say. But this one does go a little fast here. Let's try it again. Okay, that time was a little jerky. From a stance, it was jerky. But when you're already rolling, you feel the, the little you feel the little torque in your chest. But when you're already moving, it's, it's a smooth, it's a smooth ride. I kind of like the dark. Everything in here is, you know, nice and solid and a nice little, you know, grip to it. Leather seats, perforated leather, I think. We'll double check that. But I'll be right back and we'll do a quick walk around. Now this has the uh, 2.4 liter four cylinder engine. MPG is 24 city, 31 highway, 26 combined if I'm not mistaken. Hop back in this bad boy, head back to Donovan. Let's head back to Donovan Dodge. I must say that I am actually pretty impressed with this, this little car. It's actually not a bad car. I mean, it is. Let's be real. It's a neon. It's a Neon, let's be real. It's just upgrading Neon and gave it a dark name. But it's actually not a bad car. It's actually, I mean, it's, it's pretty livable in here. Like, I'm a big guy and I fit in this car. The seats are nice. Everything is nice touch. Uh, there might be some fake leather up here. It might be real leather, but this is a nice vehicle. And for $24,000, you're actually getting a steal if you want the GT model. Uh, there's lower models that you can uh, get that won't cost as much, but if you want a dart, then you might as well go all out. Uh, as people I know is gonna be in the comments saying, well, uh, you can get a you can get a lot better car used for twenty four thousand dollars. Yeah, true. But this has a five year, one hundred thousand mile warranty on powertrain, bumper to bumper, and that twenty four thousand dollar car that's faster than this that's used probably ain't gonna have a warranty. You're probably not gonna be able to afford the payments. I mean, not the payments, but afford the uh, the maintenance. But if this warranty ever runs out, how much will maintenance cost on a dart? You gotta think about it, the sun. How you gotta think about that? But um, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. And whatever vehicle you wanna see next, throw in the comments below. And while I try to make that happen, have a good day.